Hello everyone, welcome back to your hub. So in this video, we will see the previous year questions of air safety officer. And uh, this questions, whatever, whatever I am solving is asked in the air safety officer examination of 2018. Okay, so we will start this uh, video series. So the air flowing at high speed in a wind tunnel has a pressure and temperature equal to 0 0.3 atm and minus 100 degrees celsius respectively what is the specific volume and uh, they are giving the value of uh, one atmosphere as 1.01 into 10 power 5 newton per meter square and these are the options so the specific volume is nothing but 1 by density okay so now we know that from equation of state p is equal to rho rt where p is the pressure rho is the density r is the constant t is the temperature we have the value of pressure we have the value of temperature so we have to calculate the value of rho so rho i can calculate is equal to rho is equal to p by rt okay so what is the value of p here p is uh, 0 0.3 atm 0 0.3 into 1.01 .01 into 10 power 5 okay the value of r is 287 and the temperature is minus 100 degrees celsius so um, i have to convert this uh, degree celsius into kelvin so you just multiply you just um, uh, add the value of degree celsius to 273.15 okay 273.15 plus minus 100 so you'll be getting 173.15 so after solving i'll be getting an answer of 1.6 meter cube per kilogram okay the option is option number b now second question what is the indication of last two digits in early naka 2412 airfoil series the so options are maximum camber maximum thickness maximum coat maximum diameter this is straightforward so the last two digits gives the maximum thickness okay now next question which type of drag are, does arise from the resolved components of tangential shear stress on the surface of the body and the viscous fluid flows along the surface so the options are trailing edge uh, vortex drag wave drag surface friction drag and boundary layer normal pressure so the vortex drag is mainly due to the lift induced drag okay and the wave drag is due to shock wave and the friction drag is due to the surface friction basically your you know uh, tangential stress though the op the correct answer is answer option c the surface friction drag okay then uh, fourth question which one of the following statement is true for the air airplane performance condition that occur at maximum lip to drag ratio so when the l by d is maximum okay for a propeller driven aircraft that is the maximum range condition and for a jet driven aircraft that is the maximum endurance condition so in the options we have the maximum range of a propeller driven aircraft and we have other options maximum flow of air maximum fuel maximum surface area so the answer is option a uh, maximum range of propeller driven aircraft then um, airfoil has the root code of 1.8 meter this is a fifth question and the tip code of 0 0.9 meter what is the taper ratio so taper ratio lambda is equal to ct by cr so 0 0.9 meter by 0 1.8 the answer is option c 0 0.5 okay so this is about this uh, uh, like series and we will be continuing this series on the next week thank you for listening take care